Cancer, the second leading cause of death in America. Finding a cure, one that could effectively treat numerous cancers, if not all of them, is indeed the holy grail. As an oncologist, we are always looking to improve the way in which we treat cancer. That gets us very uh, excited, um, particularly if there's a novel mechanism of action, uh, which we think is happening with DCA. DCA, dichloroacetate, a chemical accidentally discovered to kill cancer cells, or rather, cause cancer cells to kill themselves. It is a very small molecule, uh, tiny molecule, um, has, uh, I guess, structural similarities to vinegar. Yet, something so simple does something quite complex. It wakes up the mitochondria in cancer cells, the normal energy-producing area of the cells, but which are shut off in cancer. The mitochondria appear to be also responsible for something called apoptosis, which means normal cell death. In other words, cancer cells that don't ever want to die will die normally in the presence of DCA. The effect was first seen in human breast, lung, and brain cancer cells in a test tube. And we inject them in, in rats that do not have an immune system. And the human cancer cells keep growing in the body of the rat as if they were growing in a human being. So then we give uh, the, uh, the rat the, the DCA, they drink it, uh, we put it in the drinking water, and we show the, the tumor stop growing and start shrinking. The effect seen in these images of a rat tumor, before and after DCA. DCA almost sounds too good to be true. It's a relatively small molecule, so it can penetrate all the tissues. It's already available, and in fact, it's been shown to be safe in humans. And it's given by mouth, not by IV. We could be um, a, little, uh, a little optimistic and definitely motivated to move it to clinical trials uh, immediately, which is what we're um, trying to do right now. But word has gotten out to patients. Many are seeking the drug, even though it hasn't been tested for cancer yet. The early information regarding DCA, which is dichloroacetic acid, is very intriguing. But I want viewers to keep in mind that this is in preclinical or early phase testing. Sometimes the, most, the, the drugs that seem most promising in a test tube or in, mo in mouse models just do not come to fruition. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.